The Design of the Periodic Table Scientists have identified 118 different elements. The modern periodic table organizes the elements by atomic number, which is the number of protons in the nucleus. Each element also has a unique number of electrons. There is one electron for each proton in a neutral atom. Electrons surround the nucleus in electron shells that exist at discrete energy levels. The lowest energy levels fill with electrons first. The outermost energy level is called the valence shell. The rows, or periods, on the periodic table correspond to the energy levels of each element's electrons. When the maximum number of electrons possible at an energy level is met, a new period begins. The first energy level in an atom can only hold two electrons, so only hydrogen and helium are placed within the first period of the table. The second energy level can hold up to eight electrons, and higher levels can hold even more. The maximum number of valence electrons, however, is eight. Notice that the second period begins with lithium, with only one valence electron. It ends with neon, which has eight. The number of valence electrons resets to one valence electron again with element 11, which is sodium. The organization of elements into periods results in a vertical pattern on the table. Elements in the same column or group of the table have the same number of valence electrons. Because the chemical behavior of an element is related to its valence electrons, elements in the same group of the periodic table share many chemical and physical properties. For example, the metals in group 1 are highly reactive, soft, and silver-colored, while group 18 elements are unreactive, odorless gases. The periodic table also indicates the metallic character of elements. These elements are nonmetals. These are metals. And these are metalloids. The elegant structure of the periodic table allows it to be a very useful tool. It can be used to make comparisons between elements and to find the electron configuration of an atom. The table also allows you to predict what elements might react with each other and in what ratios. Key takeaways. To summarize, the periodic table arranges elements in order of increasing atomic number. Periods, rows, correspond to electron energy levels. Elements in the same group, or columns, have the same number of valence electrons and have similar chemical properties. Patterns in the periodic table are used to predict reactivity.